Hi guys, welcome back. Um, so for our entree today, we're gonna do a hanger steak. Uh, hanger steak is coming from Mid Creek Farms. We've got some local cauliflower coming from Leading Shed. We have some fingerling potatoes from Green Acres. We have some arugula from Genesis Growers. And then we've made a chimichurri, which has green coriander in it. Um, the reason I say green coriander is green coriander is when cilantro goes to seed. Before the seed turns to coriander, it uh, is very bright green and has this different flavor. It doesn't taste like cilantro, doesn't taste like coriander, it tastes like green coriander. So that's what we've used to make this sauce. Um, you guys will all try this um, and, and see what we're talking about. So I just wanna get a really good sear on it and then we'll turn the pan down a little bit and let it finish cooking. So the technique we're doing right now is called pole. It just means to pour fat or pour butter over something as it's cooking in a saute pan. Um, it helps get the, a really nice developed crust on the outside and it also helps seal in the juices in the steak. We're gonna start searing our potatoes and our cauliflower and get a little color on it. Um, I've already warmed up our pan here, the cast iron, just to heat our steak back up. Um, we're just gonna put the fingerling potatoes in, face down. These fingerlings have been cooked, or cone feed in, in beef fat. Um, the reason we do that is it just adds a little bit of luster to the potato. When you're doing something with a hanger steak, you're kind of looking for something that has a little bit of fat in it. Hangers do have a good amount of fat in the, in the steak, but steak, you always want to have a little bit more just to give it a little um. Um, once the potatoes have started searing, we're gonna add some cauliflower. Um, we're just gonna try to get some nice brown color on all of these items that are in the pan. When you caramelize things, it definitely has a good flavor of fall to me. We're gonna add a little butter just to help with our color. We're gonna put that steak back in there just to heat it up. So as you can see, we're getting some nice color on our cauliflower and our potatoes, which is exactly what we want. Um, salt does help caramelization, so we're gonna add a little bit of salt at this point, just to start getting a little more color. We're gonna finish it with just a little bit of fien herbs. So our fien herbs are parsley, chive, tarragon, and thyme. Traditionally, it's chervil. Um, I like tarragon in there. It's a little more cost-effective for us, and it's easier for us to hold on to tarragon than it is chervil. Um, and at this point, we're pretty much ready to go here. We're just gonna kind of place our veg towards the back of the plate. Okay, so the next step would be to cut the hanger steak. So hanger steak has, has uh, the, the, the lines that run through it. We always wanna cut against that grain. Um, that's gonna allow for a really tender piece of steak. I like hanger steak cut kind of thin. Other chefs think other ways, but I like it nice and thin. So we've got this beautiful piece of hanger. We're just gonna kind of rest it up there. We'll kind of fan it out a little bit so we can show off our, our beautiful pink meat in there. Okay, the next step is gonna be to put our chimichurri on. This has a little bit of parsley, a little bit of garlic, and a little bit of green coriander. That's gonna kind of be the sauce, so that'll just kind of sit right in front of our steak. And then just to garnish, we do need something that has a little bit of acid. So we're gonna take a little bit of arugula, and we've got a Banyuls vinaigrette. We use arugula and a little bit of pickled onions for our steak garnish. So a little bit of arugula, a little bit of um, red wine pickled shallots. Okay, we're just gonna dress that with our Banyuls vinaigrette. salt. Okay, and then we'll just kind of toss all those together just to make sure those onions get distributed in that arugula. And we're going to put our garnish right on top there, right in between our potatoes and our steak. And there you have it, pan seared Mint Creek hanger with uh, fingerlings, cauliflower, and green coriander chimichurri. Enjoy. Well, thanks for having me here at the dinner party. I really had a lot of fun. My name is Sean Sanders, and I'm the chef owner of Brown Trout. I'd love for you guys to come by and see us at the restaurant. We're 4111 North Lincoln Avenue. 
Go ahead and give us a follow on Facebook at Brown Trout Cuisine and our Twitter handle is Brown Trout Sean. Thanks for letting me be a part of this.